Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExilAutomation.com. This is part 12 of our Coded UI video series. So in this part, we're going to discuss about UI test controls. And so far in the part 10 and part 11, we're discussing about hand coding Coded UI test using Windows controls like Win Windows, Win buttons, and how to search and identify the control using its search properties. But in this part, we're going to take its base class which is nothing but UI test control and then we're going to work from there. So we already discussed about UI test control stating this class is the base class for all the technologies like win controls, HTML controls, WPF control, or whatever controls you like it. But UI test control provides the properties and methods which are very generic to the controls across these technologies. So if you see the base class of the UI test controls, you can see there are a lot of methods available which will actually support the extending technologies like MSAA or web or WPF controls. We're going to take or replace the previous code like win windows or win button to UI test controls and we'll see how it how things works because we know that the controls base class is nothing but the UI test control. So Let's flip back to Visual Studio and we'll work from there and we'll see what really mean about this slide. So this is the same project which we have been working from part 3 through part 11. And this is the hand coded class which we worked in part 11. So we created our own code by creating an instance for win window and we also created the search properties for the window to be identified. And also we created the win button class we created an instance for the win button and we passed the parent as the calculator window and then we also created the search property to identify the button in the calculator. So instead, as you all know that this win window is actually inheriting from win control class and this win control class will actually inherit from UI test control. So we all know that UI test control is the base class for all the controls as we discussed in part one of the hand coding video which is nothing but the part 10 of this series I believe. So uh, you can see there are a lot of methods and uh, properties available for this particular class. So what I'm going to do here is let's replace this win window to UI test control and we'll see how thing works. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to replace this win window to UI test control class so the class, I'm just replacing it. So I'm going to the text explorer and I'm going to run the selected test. So this will open the calculator, but it will throw you an error. And that's what is my expectation. Let's see. Okay, as expected, it's throwing me an error. And what does it say? It says that the system.argument exception, no technology name has been specified to the search for the control. You must specify the technology name property. So there is a property called technology name and if you specify the technology name let's say the calculator window dot technology name is equal to msaa so which means this is the windows technology right if so i am specifying this and if i run this it will run as expected so now you can see the calculator is opened and it's performing the operation as expected and that's what is missing. So here what we are saying is like the technology name that MSAA is actually missing because we have not specified it is very very generic control. It is UI test control which is very generic and it's applicable for Windows application, web application and also WPF application. So you have to explicitly specify the technology name right here. If you specify then it works fine. And then the next question is, what is the technology name for a web application? So it is nothing but web. Similarly, for the WPF application, the technology name is WPF. So these are the different technology names available and it's provided by Microsoft. And again, I have a little concern why the technology name is not enumerated. It's pretty, it is right now uh, not a strongly typed. It is like you have to give in a double quotes and I'm not pretty sure why Microsoft has given it this way. But all right. Okay, so it's identifying things. So why don't we specify the search property also very generically? Why don't I specify the search property instead of win window? If I specify the UI test control here, right? And if I run this test, 
what happened so let's try to run this so I'm, I'm just trying to make it more generic I'm just specifying the technology room right here and also I'm replacing the search property itself to a very generic control and if I run this test right now you can see it's working as expected just amazing so you have replaced all the specific type win window or win button to a completely generic types here it's nothing but UI test control so why don't I replace this win button to UI test control and if I run this test how does this test behave so if I again run this test you can see we are getting an error right now all right what does it says it says that the oh my god it's really annoying okay it says the business to test test tool dot ui test dot extension dot fail to perform an action on a blocked control exception it says that this technology name which msaa with accessibility name 8 is actually being blocked by some other window so what's really happening so did we block it somewhere of course not but why is this not been identified now just think about it a little bit and see what's really happening so why is this Microsoft created all these win window win button and you know win text win edit etc the reason is why don't they went as a selenium way in selenium all the controls are web elements right in say C sharp we call it as I web element so why didn't they go that way the reason is they want to create a strongly typed class for each and every controls for HTML edit or win edit, similarly uh, win button, win window, for every control they try to create their own strongly typed classes and we already discussed about win edit that win edit will have a specific property names like hidden passwords, getting text from the hidden password but those properties will not be available for win button or win window right so they try to make some properties very specific for those particular particular controls so if you try to keep on creating this UI test control for those controls then here you are really losing the essence of strongly typed win button control stuff so instead of specifying it very generic okay the window is fine right because it's just a window and you're just going to identify the calculator window itself so it's performing pretty much as expected but since it is a button and it has its property to be identified for that particular control you need to explicitly specify what type it is if you don't specify then the whole window itself is an MSAA it cannot be identified by Microsoft Visual Studio right here so you have to somehow specify and tell hey code UI this is my application and that's my button try to click there and you have to explicitly specify what type of control it is if you don't surely Microsoft will be in a great problem now if you try to put it as win button just win button and save it rest you can leave it as it is the search properties you can leave it as it is you are just control the property name dot name pretty fine and now if you try to run this test You can see the calculator open and perform the operation as expected because you have specified the type here. Of course, win button is of type UI test control, so you can leave this UI test control as it is. But you should specify what type of the control it is right here. Right? And now what you can do is you can replace all these win buttons to UI test controls. Let me do this way win button to UI oops UI test control I'm gonna replace all of them alright but here instead I'm gonna replace this to win button alright so let me just copy paste these guys right here so I'm gonna specify what type it is alright and now if I run this test it works as expected you see that it's working perfectly great 
So that is the UI test control. You need to specify its type. If you don't specify its type, then Visual Studio will really lose the essence of strongly typed controls right here, right? Because each and every controls has its own property and the property names keeps on changing for the specific controls. The button will have a specific property when edit controls will have specific properties. So these properties are completely coming from a specific control. If you specify it, if you don't, then everything is going to be like UI test control. And that's why you need to specify the control type explicitly right here. Right? That's it guys. So in the next video of this video series, we're going to talk more about UI test controls and its different functionality that UI test control can perform for us. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.